Hey YouTube, this is Quinn, that's Naz the iPhone Guy, and this is the demonstration of the iOS 4.2 print feature called AirPrint, which will be available to your iPhone, your iPod, or your iPad in the coming 4.2 update. Now I do have the beta uh, seed for developers, and I also have the simulator as well as the software necessary to run this on my MacBook here. Now I have a bunch of printers hooked up right now, and all of them but one of them are printer simulators. So they're actually on my computer and they're pretending to be printers, but they aren't actually printers. They just put it onto a PDF on my desktop so that I can ensure and other developers can ensure that things will print correctly without having to use thousands of sheets of paper. So I will do uh, two of those tests with two different kinds of media formats and then I will also do a real print job of a picture onto the printer that's on my network. Now. Uh, as of right now, AirPrint is only available over the network directly to HP ePrint printers. I can imagine that this will expand later, but as of right now, those are the only printers that you can direct print to. Now, right now, I do have a network printer that is hooked up to my MacBook, which is hooked up to my iPhone. So my iPhone, rather than telling the printer what to print, it's telling iTunes what to print or some other script running in the background on uh, the developer seed of Snow Leopard 10.6.5 B5, so it's a beta developer release, but essentially it's telling the computer to print to the network printer. So long story short, we're just gonna get printing. I do apologize for the lighting in the background. I am getting used to my new setup. I have a brand new setup, and uh, things will be a little bit smoother in the next week or two when I figure things out. Last thing before we get started, this video is sponsored by squaretrade.com. Go to squaretrade.com slash TSIG to save 35 bucks off your two-year iPhone warranty. Okay, so we have my website right here. It's called Treaded, and uh, it's a beautiful website. It looks really great, but let's say I don't want to read all of the stuff. I can simply press this little arrow button down at the bottom which has always been there and you'll see that there's a new option that says print. Now this screen will come up and it allow you to choose the printer. Now I'm just going to use the simulated inkjet printer on my MacBook and you will see a PDF that pops up in a minute. We'll watch it together. We only want one copy. Now as of right now, and I don't know if this will change, but it's pretty slow at printing. Um, what you can do with the device actually is to double click it and then you'll see the print center icon in the bottom left hand corner and it will tell you the document it's printing, the printer it's printing to, how many copies, if it's double sided or not, when it started and the status. So it's printing the first page out of the first page. So we're just going to wait here a minute till this icon appears on our desktop. The printer job will appear complete and then the icon will appear where my thumb is on my desktop. Um, as I said, it's a little bit slow. I don't know if things will speed up, but you certainly want to, wouldn't want to print a 20 page document because it'd take about five to 10 minutes and that's pretty painful. So it's finished and you can see that that PDF just arrived on my desktop. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna open it up and you'll be able to see that it is in fact printed to our computer. It kept all the text formats, everything looks good. Obviously the logos warp a little because it is on a much bigger screen now. But if we scroll down, we'll be able to see in the footer when it was printed, the date and time, how many pages it was out of, and the source. Now, as of right now, and as far as I can tell uh, from the settings, you can't actually fix this. Um, I mean, you can't change what you want it to say. I'm sure that eventually you'll be able to find something that will allow you to control how things print. But as of right now, I haven't been able to find any printing settings from within the phone. But eventually, and as Steve Jobs demoed in the presentation, it will be able to be done. So. That was a website, um, looks good. Uh, since it took a little while, I'm not gonna do, eh, I can do this one, it's really super easy. Right now I just have like three words of text on unlimited case. Uh, possible relaunch, not totally sure of it, but you can see up in the top corner, um, welcome to the new, or it says get ready for the new unlimited case. So once again, we were just gonna press print. Let's say we want three copies, and then we can press print. This one will be much faster. Once again, you can double tap and then click the print center job and it's actually already done because that was so minute of a print job. And if we click it right there and go full screen, you'll be able to see that there's the first page, there's the second page, and there's the third page. Now my MacBook is really slow because running six simultaneous printers in this printer simulator is actually quite CPU hogging. So we'll quit that. And then we will print one last picture to our 
um, real printer in the office and then we'll go get okay, it. So we've got our iPhone, we've got our printer. We're now going to navigate to the iPhone print feature. Oh, not the wallpaper. Excuse me. The print feature. We're going to go to the printer which is the OfficeJet 8500. We press one copy and then press print. If we double tap, as we remember, it goes into this window. Shows you the photo, what printer, how many copies, when it started, and uh, the pages it's going to use. So it says printing one out of one, and you can hear our printer going into action here. It's going to take up a piece of paper. And I, I don't know why, but this, it must be something with the network settings, I don't know. But it's using an insane amount of ink, so it may be the photo won't look good and it's probably because this is, I mean the paper's like wet when it comes out so I have to modify or fix the settings, I don't know. It only happens when it's from the phone though so I'll have to investigate on that. It's probably something in one of the provisioning files so uh, we'll check it out. But as you can see our MacBook is coming out as pretty as ever and there it is printed directly from the printer on our network. No, it doesn't look good at all and it seriously like it's wet I don't even know why it uses that much ink but anyways that's a demonstration and a test of air print on iOS 4.2 this is Quinn that snazzy iPhone guy and as always stay snazzy see you later folks